Hello guys, Disaster here. Welcome back to a reaction video. I know, I know, like always, you guys have been waiting a long time for these. There's been a lot of shit going on lately, and um, I thought of doing another update video and talking about it, but, you know, to be honest, nah, I'm just gonna get right into this. This was a request, um, and I believe that the subscriber that requested this reaction video was Dylan Jones. I am pretty sure it was Dylan Jones, so um, if you comment something down in the comments, I will pin your comment. Um, also, if it was you, I'm pretty sure it was you. I can check on YouTube on my community tab real quick because I know that if it was you, you actually recommended it through the uh, community tab, which you should do. Um, but let me see, because I have posted quite a few things here lately. So I believe it was before Resident Evil 3 Classic playthrough that I still have to finish. Um, was it this one? Was it this one? It might have been this one. Yes. Yes, it was. Dylan Jones. So, uh, shout out to you for requesting this. I was pretty sure I had uh, seen this one before. Now, just a little bit of a warning before we start this. Of course, that there might be some PSAs over here that I have seen before and have reacted to before. Like I said, I don't know. So, because I've seen a lot of comments of people saying, oh, she reacted to a lot of these before. Well, people recommend these to me, okay? So, I don't know if there's going to be a lot of them that I reacted to before. I don't know if there's not going to be any. If all of them are going to be new, I don't know. So, it kind of depends on you guys to know this kind of stuff for me because I can't watch these before I react to them because that's, what's the point then? Um... So yeah, you know what? We're gonna get right into this. We're gonna have some fun. This is, of course, by Hello, I Am a Pizza, and I'm gonna react to top 20 scariest fire safety PSAs. So I remember seeing some fire ones before. Um, so I am almost 100% sure that I'm gonna see some of them that are that I've already reacted to. So, uh, but yeah, without any further ado, let's do this. Ooh, graphic material, right up my alley. Let's go, let's do this. It, it, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's gonna have that one with the head talking that I don't like. Nightmare, Koi. UK, really? You s Overloaded socket! <laughs> oh, spice spot! Come on, come on, let's see something. Matches, come on, go for the matches, darling! Oh, kids, oh, no! Come no! On. Oh, daddy! You put them out of reach! Shh! <laughs> Matches, that's why too full and the heat's too high! Do, do, do! Oh, oh, man. Man. The door. Look what you I am so paranoid when it comes to stuff like this. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Oh my god, what are you doing? Uh -oh. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> Holy chance. shit. Yeah, the old UK ones to for me are some of the best. If you knew it was me. I know a place that's peaceful No, not quiet. this one! Oh my god, I hate this play. one! It's called a forest, but every year we start forest fires. A careless match, a cigarette, and poof, fire. So the next time you're in the forest, be extra careful. No, okay? no. Oh my god. If you knew it was me, would you have listened? That is the creepiest shit ever when he takes the mask off! Stairwell, Consumer Safety Institute. I have seen the bear one before, by the way, but... Always gets to me. 
Ja. Stel het is nacht, er is brand uitgebroken. Door de rook zie je niks, dus je krijgt deze blinde kom. Je hebt nu twee minuten om naar te komen. Ik ga gauw. Oh, mijn hoofd. She's gonna fail miserably. Yeah. You'd be dead by now. Jesus. Stadium fire. Which a actually happened in the UK, didn't it? The weather's gone out uh, side. Is, Campbell, is, is, yeah, this the is the one, isn't it? This is real. And we've actually got a it's fire actually happened. Stand on the far side of the ground. But now that fire is beginning to rage. And the two and a half thousand people in that stand are panicking. They are frantic to get out. I, I watched a documentary on and this. And look at that. Oh, this is awful. Oh my God. Ten minutes ago, we were looking at a football game. Yeah, the, this actually happened. I watched a documentary on it. It was completely unbelievable. No, it's this one. Midas touch. I cannot st No. I love people. No, 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 I no, no. Them, see them smile. See the laughing faces oh of their young. And children in turn. I'm He's so scary. To hypnosis. To reach out. As I do in faithful embrace. His face though it oh, oh, I fire. hate it when he does that. Be careful when you're near me. I can't help myself. Oh my god, it's the creepiest shit. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have goosebumps all over. His face is so familiar though. I've seen him somewhere. Every time. Not your keys. Putting out the bins. I have not seen this Valentine's one. Valentine's Day. Lou roll. No, you said that you were bringing your wallet Money. Out. Umbrellas. I'm putting, I'm putting. The batteries in your smoke alarm. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> test them every week. Change them every year. Oh, you lost Push his wife button, and child. Not your luck. Shit. Child Consumer Safety Institute. Dag. We wilden graag een test met u doen. Ja, nou dat kan. Stel het is nacht, er is brand uitgebroken. Ja. Door de rook ziet u niets, daarom krijgt u een blinde kom en u heeft nu twee minuten om buiten te komen. Mag gewoon. Jeetje. Is she gonna make it? Jeetje, wat erg. U heeft het gehaald, maar u bent wel uw kind vergeten. Ja, inderdaad. Oh my god, are you serious? I didn't even notice that she had a kid. <laughs> dolly. Ah, uh, fucking upon a time, dolls, there was a dolly man. called Matilda. She was afraid of the dark. So the grown-ups put a nightlight in the bedroom. One night, Matilda thought she could smell something. It couldn't funny. be something else besides a goddamn candle. It all happened so quickly. Help! Help! I think I've seen this Matilda. one before. Sadly. This is where the story ends. Yeah, I think I've seen this one before. It's familiar. Doll's House. Fucking UK, man. Fucking UK, when always you representing. When children in at night, are you putting them to bed? Or laying them to rest? If inhaled, the smoke from a house fire could kill a small child in under a minute. They'll rely on you to wake them up and get them out. What are you relying on? Are you putting them to bed? Wake up. Get a smoke alarm. Or laying them to rest. That's a powerful fucking sentence right there. That. If you're a parent and that doesn't frighten you, then I don't know what would. I would like to do a test with you. Stel, it is night and you lie to sleep. Beneden is a brand uitgebroken omdat you a standby knopje aan hebt laten staan. En de rook gaat meteen naar boven, maar daar merk je helemaal niets van. Wat moet ik nu doen? She dies. Niets. Je bent wel gestikt. Exactly. Je kind ook. 
powerful, isn't it? Exactly, she's, she's already gone. You're asleep, you don't notice it. Dead man. seen this one before I think so I'm glad because there's there's quite a few new ones here that I've not watched before so that is cool good job uh, Dylan Jones a fire doesn't have to kill you to take your life I don't know if I'll watch this one because that one is powerful I don't remember watching that one Similar, maybe it's similar to another one that I watched. That's fucked up, man, because it's true. It doesn't need to kill you. I mean, if it takes your whole family. Sing this one. Each night as you go to bed, close the door. And that door will hold back almost any fire will give you 10 precious minutes to get out. Leave it open, and it will give you no time at all. Fire. Shut it out. You'll never put it out. Yeah. Memorial. As I went down to the valley to pray, studying about These are excuses, aren't it? And who shall wear the starry crown good they were too difficult to put up. Yeah, this these are excuses. Oh sisters, let's go down. Come on down. I didn't know where to buy them. Oh, I hear that so many times. So many times. They were too expensive. As I went down to the valley. My my husband should have done it. My landlord should have done it. That's another powerful one right there. Holy shit. Cheer. If your foam furniture catches fire, a smoke alarm will warn you at this point. If you haven't got a smoke alarm, you won't find out. Because all foam, even new foam, which doesn't burn as easily, silently gives off poisonous cyanide gas. Which is why thousands of people without a smoke alarm, who thought they'd wake up, didn't. It's not an early warning. Jesus Christ. It's the only warning. That's so scary. Moth. All children are fascinated by fire. Did you know where every match is in your house? They probably do. I do. Actually, I do. The speed of fire. But we don't have kids in a house, so... In the next few minutes, you could make a cup of tea, go to the loo, or see to the kids. Keep watching. Oh no! Holy... Do you not smell it at this time? Did she already get out of there? Yeah. Okay. Be quite stupid if she didn't. Oh my god. What you've just witnessed took just under three minutes. Never ever underestimate the speed of fire. Get out. Call the fire service and for God's sake, stay out. Yeah, not only that, you you can 
you know, harm your family, harm yourself, and you can harm your neighbors because you're so irresponsible. If your Victim. chip pan catches fire, don't panic. Just follow these instructions. One, turn off the heat. Two, run a cloth under a tap and wring it out. Three, cover the pan and then wait until it's cooled right down. Don't try and move the pan, and whatever you do, don't throw water over the fire. The effects can be devastating. I would have probably just let panic take over me at that stage. This is quite frightening. When your smoke alarm goes off, make sure you know what to do. He lost his family Plan too, didn't he? Plan your escape now, or you yeah. might live to regret it. So sad, man. Night vision. Ah, uh, I think I've seen this one. That's a problem here in my um, in my building because a lot of irresponsible people put their cars right on the cross, not in the cross, sometimes on the crossing, but on the uh, where we walk. And so, if a big fire were to happen, you know, the ambulance and, and the firefighters wouldn't have the space to actually do something. So there's a huge problem with that here where I live because people are irresponsible. And all they care about is having a fucking spot for that car. Seen this one before is one of the most disturbing ones, to, in my opinion. Yeah. Please keep matches away from children. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pause right there um that was a really good video i was kind of reluctant to um react to this because the title seemed familiar to me and i thought well this is going to be mostly uh, psas that i've already watched and uh, i don't want people complaining that oh there's a lot of here that we've already seen well you know it's not my fault uh it's not anybody's fault really because you can't guess this kind of stuff so uh, but it was actually a really good video, a lot of good new ones that I hadn't seen before. And so, good work, Dylan Jones. I really enjoyed this video. And of course, it had the Midas Touch one that I, or, or Midas Touch one, wh however you pronounce that, that I don't like, not even for a second. It terrifies me. Um, but yeah, man, we just have to be conscious of what we do. Uh, we need to be prepared for circumstances like this. But unfortunately, a lot of us are not. Uh, just like my building. It wasn't until recently that we um, we have those things to put the fires out now. Uh, right outside of our apartment doors. Because they didn't give a fuck. Um, and still a lot of people, like I, I was saying, don't give a fuck. Because they put their cars... Um, stopped right in front of the doors and if there's a big fire we need to get out and we can't because you know there's cars right in front of it and if the firefighters need to come and put the fire out they can't because you have these cunts that don't think about others so um yeah i really enjoyed the video uh dylan jones if you comment down below i will pin your comment and i've already gave you a shout out so thank you so much if you have any other videos uh that you want to suggest you know what to do um, same for all of you guys that watch these videos. I really appreciate it. I hope that you also enjoyed the videos 
of me reacting to the uh, game announcements, uh, especially Demon Souls as blown up. Um, you know, the the whole Soulsborne series is something that's very special to me. And when I realized that that was Demon Souls, I just went crazy and I even cried. Um, there is a huge chunk that I cut out of that reaction because I just kept talking about it while they were announcing other games. I just couldn't stop talking about it. And, and I, w I almost had like tears <laughs> streaming down my face, which is a little bit stupid. But um, that, that was a really important announcement for me. So... Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I, like I said, I love this video. It was really good. Again, the link to this original video will be in the description. And uh, again, thank you to LOIM Pizza also for making these uh, compilations, which are amazing. And uh, I'm really sorry that Gabby the Clown is not around anymore. Um, I don't know why. But apparently it's because of some sensitive people out there that can't handle certain things. And so they feel the need to, um, you know, to bitch about it to YouTube and get channels taken down. Um, I don't know if that what, that's what happened. Uh, but if it is, then you should be ashamed of, of, you should be ashamed of yourself. If you don't like this kind of content, if you're too sensitive, you shouldn't watch it. Uh, you should go back into your box and stay there. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll meet you here in the next one. Peace.